Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 740th installment of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. I am Oscar Carboni. I've been doing this for 29 years now, traders, and I have something very interesting to show you. First off, this video is being filmed on Wednesday night for trading Thursday. That would be June 9, 2011. Futures trading, as we know, is extremely risky and can cause substantial financial loss. So if you do not have risk capital and you do not put stops in first and you do not understand this game, you should not be trading in the futures. But if you do understand the game, traders, I have something on my board that we're going to discuss this video is going to be relatively quick because it's late at night and markets are moving, so I'm going to try to make this short and sweet, but I have something to say to you. One thing that we know about technical analysis that is a fact is this. Repetitive patterns are the cornerstones of technical analysis. In other words, Technical analysis is mainly spotting today what's happened many times in the past that looks very much like what's going on now and expect it to be the same thing again. Now that's not always going to work and that's not all that there is to technical analysis, but that is a big part of technical analysis. Even the indicators, everything about them are repetitive patterns that traders like us and analysts like us recognize. So with that in mind, I found an incredible chart this evening. Traders, as you know, this week we've been selling the S&P, selling the NASDAQ, selling, 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 and we expect more downside for Wednesday night into Thursday and maybe even for Thursday as well. You also must recognize, if you know me by now, that I look at the bird's eye view, the forest from the trees, pretend I'm up in a helicopter looking down at the whole forest, and if I do that, I can see which way the path is to get out of the forest. So, I don't always just look at the trees. In other words, I'm not always just looking at the daily bar and what's going on. I step it out sometimes and just look at the whole picture. The whole picture is that we are in a big booming bull market that is having a pullback. And that has been my contention since the pullback started. But we have been selling it. We do have a red omni for Wednesday night through Thursday morning. But traders, so tonight I do my homework and what I'm trying to do now is find more reasons to be short-minded, to be bare-minded, because that's what the market's asking me to do. So I do my homework tonight and I find some trades that I think we're going to get short in the markets. But I did one of those bird's eye views of a chart and it almost knocked me over and I thought I would share that with you. So remember this, repetitive patterns are the cornerstones of technical analysis. Now when I say that, what does it mean to you when you look at this? I end up really excited and this is why. Traders, repetitive patterns are the cornerstones of technical analysis. Well, when I was looking at the daily Dow Jones Industrial Average bar chart, I was looking for a reason to be more bearish because we've been selling into it and it's coming off and I'm not blind and I trade whatever the market gives us. So as I'm doing my homework tonight, I recognize that the pattern that we're having right now is almost identical to the pattern that was set between June and August of 2010. And see if you can follow me with this. We get like this little V bottom. Then it comes up into a little rounded top and drops to what I call point A. From there, it rallies up to point B, puts in a parallel channel, which drops us just a tad lower than point A, and the whole move is over and it takes off. Here we are now, present day. A little V bottom goes into this rounded top and drops to point A. From point A, it zooms up to what I'm calling point B, a parallel channel, which takes us just a tad lower than point A. Very interesting, traders. It's almost exact. Now, even more interesting, watch what happens when I overlay one of our Omni averages on it. Right about here, the average gets involved in this whole little setup, right? But before we even look at that, note this. The average is almost always outside of the chart. It never really goes through much of the bars. It's outside the chart, outside the chart. Here it's outside, just a little cut in, outside the chart. 
But in these two periods, it gets right into the chart and look at where. It gets into the chart right near the V, comes back out right in the middle of this channel, and then goes, right? Well, here we are now, present day. Comes in during the V and is coming out right in the middle of this channel. Points A, B, and C look identical to what they did here, including that little V bottom. So with that average, that made me stop cold and think, wow, is this thing going to stop right here? Now, traders, look at this again. Let me blow this up for you. And once again, look, there's the little V bottom. Then it goes into this little red rounded top that you see and drops down to point A. From point A, it rallies up to point B, puts in this parallel channel down to point C, and then explodes. That is June through August 2010. Present day. It's got the little V bottom shown here or illustrated with the blue V. Then you have the little red rounded top, which drops us to point A. Point A, a quick rally to point B, then into a parallel channel, which gets slightly lower than point A. Almost exactly what we had in June through August. So I think this is an absolute repetitive pattern. Now watch this. I'm going to drop the average on for you. Look at that, almost like magic. You'll note from the beginning of this chart, the average stays out of the bars. Almost always it's on the outside. Then when you hit June through August of 010, you see that right here, the average starts cutting right through the bars, gets near the V, comes underneath that red rounded top, and then cuts through the parallel channel point C and takes off. Well, present day, if you'll note, the average gets involved right near the V, gets underneath that little rounded red top, cuts through the parallel channel connecting points B to point C, and from here, if it's going to repeat, it's going to hold in the next few days. Point C, back in June, if you'll note, had three, four, five, six days down here, and then it took off. So I'm thinking that we stayed down here a little longer and then follow in suit with what we've seen. So far, what we've seen is this. We know that when the dollar index goes down, it gives buoyancy to the stock market. Lately, the dollar index has been going down right when we hit point C, right here at point C. The dollar index has been cracking hard, giving buoyancy, or should be what we'd expect buoyancy, to the stock market. Traders, I think this is fantastic. I, like what, I love what I'm showing you here. I think that this chart is absolutely a repetitive pattern, and I hope that you see it the same way. Traders, repetitive patterns are the cornerstones of technical analysis. Thank you so much for tuning in to tonight's lesson. Traders, look at that for yourselves. That was the Dow Jones Industrial Average Daily Bar Chart. The period I looked at was June 2010 through August 2010. Looks very much like the period we are in right now. Do your own homework. Look at your own charts. I hope this keeps you in check, in perspective with the larger picture. Remember, you must act like a bear when the market is dropping, and it has been dropping. So short-term minded, you should trade like a bear. But keep in mind that repetitive pattern I showed you. Remember that we're in a big booming bull market. And remember not to fall in love with the downside. Traders, one last thing I'm going to warn you about is you must keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stop sorry. Making money in the markets is not an easy thing to do. That's why I chose Metastock, the award-winning analysis and data package. Metastock uses technical analysis, good solid information. Not just hunches or guesses. This helps me make better trading decisions. I find the best trades and I can decide when to buy and when to sell. With Metastock, I trade more confidently. And that's helped me be more successful. Go to metastock.com slash TG7 right now to get your free 30-day trial of Metastock software. I love Metastock. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. 
We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. 